Primary 4 students. This is our fifth lesson of Renewable Energy Resources concept. Our lesson today is all about chair activities. That's why I told you last time to get ready and review all what we have studied. We will return to the investigative phenomena and think about it again. After all the evidence and, inf and information we gathered from the different activities. زي ما متعودين في دروس شارك بنرجع للظاهرة محل البحث عشان نفكر فيها بعد كل الأدلة اللي جمعناها في دروس تعلم. We will also think about how to solve some problems whether on earth or in space. كمان هنفكر ازاي نحل مشكلات موجودة في الواقع حوالينا سواء على الأرض أو الفضاء. Get your science book and notebook to start our lesson. Let me show you those pictures. Have a closer look at them. Do you remember them? Yes, exactly. These are the pictures we started our concept with. Windmills and water mills. We started with them to think about the investigative phenomena that we are ready to write a scientific explanation for it. In activity 11, record evidence like a scientist. I want you to think about windmills and water mills after all the information we learned and try to describe the mills and what they consist of and what are their most important parts. Identify how they are useful in generating electricity. هنفكر في التوحين المائية والهوائية بعد كل المعلومات اللي تعلمناها عشان نوصف أجزائها ونوضح هي ازاي مفيدة في توليد الكهرباء. Also, how is your explanation different from before in Wonder Lesson? Open your book on page 75 and record your evidence. Let's see how our friend Hamza recorded his evidence about the investigative phenomenon. Hamza wrote that mills move by air or water movement. He said that windmills must have long arms and located at a high area to get exposed to as much wind and air energy as possible. Hamza وضح إن توحين الهواء لازم يكون عندها أذرع طويلة وتكون على ارتفاع عالي عشان تقدر تحصل على أكبر قدر من طاقة الهواء. He also said that wind can move the turbines. That moved the generator afterwards. As for the difference between his explanation now and when we started the concept, he said he had thought at first that these mills only transmit the movement of water or wind, and they could be used for simple works, such as crushing grains. Hamza can فكر في البداية إن الطواحين دي وظيفتها بس إنها تنقل الحركة بتاعة المية أو الرياح وإنها ممكن تستخدم في أعمال بسيطة بس. زي طحن الحبوب. But now he learns that we can depend on it as a renewable source to generate electricity. He also understands what is the best location is to build the windmills. Excellent Hamza. You too surely learned a lot of information and evidence about windmills and water mills. And you wrote them down in your explanation of the phenomena. Do you remember the next step? It's going back to the can you explain question. دلوقتي هنرجع للسؤال الأساسي في بداية المفهوم. What are the different ways we can use renewable energy to generate electricity? As we do every time, we answer this question by writing the scientific explanation. Now I think you can write a scientific explanation with its three elements that always help you organize and arrange your thoughts. Do you remember? Yes, exactly. Claim, evidence, and reasoning model. We will record the claim, which is one sentence, as an answer to this question. Then, we record the evidence that we think support our claim. Finally, we write the reasoning that confirms and supports the claim through examples of an explanation confirms that the evidence is right. Let's go back to our book, page 76, and record the claim evidence and reasoning.
let's see how my students decoded the claim. The claim says electricity can be generated from renewable energy sources such as water, wind and solar energy. Okay, what are the evidence our friends wrote? The evidence is that they proved by hands-on investigation that renewable sources such as wind and water can generate kinetic energy. This energy can move the turbine. When the turbine moves, it makes the parts of the generator move and it can produce electricity. الدليل ان هم اثبتوا في البحث العلمي ان مصادر متجدده زي الرياح والميه ممكن تولد طاقه حركه كينيتك انرجي وتحرك التوربين اللي بيخلي مولد الكهرباء يتحرك ويقدر انه ينتج الكهرباء they also read in a text titled solar energy that solar panels can take the radiant energy of the sun and change it directly into electricity they also learned about different examples of devices that depend on electricity generated from solar panels. What about the reasoning? As for the, the reasoning, our friends wrote that renewable energy sources such as sun, wind and water, we can use the energy from the sun using solar panels. They explained that solar panels are made of many small cells. These cells take the radiant energy of the sun and change it directly into Electricity. أصدقائنا كمان شرحوا إزاي الألواح الشمسية بتتكون من خلايا شمسية واللي تقدر تاخد طاقة الشمس وتحولها لكهرباء. We can use this electricity to turn on street lights. We can charge batteries. We can use it to power irrigation equipment for farmers. نقدر نشغل معدات الري للمزارعين زي ما شفنا في الفيديو قبل كده. They also explained how humans build wind and water turbines in certain locations to help them use kinetic energy of water and wind in generating electricity. After that, the electricity from the wind or water turbines is carried by big wires to transfer where it's needed. كمان وضحوا ازاي الكهرباء بتتنقل عن طريق أسلاك ضخمة للأماكن اللي بتحتاج الكهرباء. That's wonderful. This is a correct claim. Specific evidence related to the claim. Also, excellent explanation and reasoning. Now, you are ready to go back to your science book, page 77, and write your scientific explanations. Record your claim, evidence, and reasoning, like the example we have just presented together. You can also clarify and show them by drawing. دلوقتي انتوا جاهزين انكم ترجعوا للكتاب وتكتبوا تفسيراتكم العلمية، وما تنسوش تقدروا توضحوها برسومات بسيطة. I am sure that you recorded organized scientific explanations. You may also have different examples as we have learned. تعالوا نشوف أنا متوقعة تكونوا كتبتوا إيه. I am sure that you recorded organized scientific explanations. You may also have different examples as we have learned. My students showed the idea of using wind and water energy to generate electricity using turbines and generators. They talked also about solar energy and how it's an important source of renewable energy. They explained how to get energy from solar cells by collecting evidence from the video about the farmer used solar energy in generating electricity. تلاميذي شرحوا فكرة الحصول على الطاقة من الخلايا الشمسية ودعموا كلامهم بأدلة من الفيديو اللي شفناه عن الفلاح. اللي قدر يستفيد من طاقة الشمس في توليد الكهرباء. Now, it's time to know how all information and ideas we have learned can be applied in different jobs and fields. We will learn this in Activity 12 in Elias Like a Scientist. Our activity is entitled Solar Power in Space. In our science tech book, get your notebooks, we will now get into a spaceship.
we will meet an astronaut. He will talk to us about solar energy and its role in operating the devices in the spaceship. دلوقتي هنروح جوه مركبة فضائية وهنقابل رائد فضاء. هيكلمنا عن solar energy. Ready? Hi, welcome aboard the International Space Station. I'm astronaut Ricky Arnold, and I'm currently at one of our human research facilities on ISS, where you can see centrifuges, laptops, and other scientific equipment. Across from me is another one of these experiment racks, where you can see ultrasound imaging, more laptops, cameras, other equipment, all stuff that requires electrical power. In fact, we have so much equipment for science and life support that our electrical system has about eight miles or 13 kilometers of wiring to make it all work. So where does this energy come from? Let's have a look. From here in the cupola and through other windows, you can easily see the solar arrays soaking in the sunlight. They are massive. These four solar arrays are made of solar cells, which are purified chunks of the element silica. Together, the solar arrays contain a total of 262,400 solar cells and cover an area of about 27,000 square feet, more than half the area of a football field. That's huge. When the station is in sunlight, the solar arrays produce about 60% more power than we actually need during the daytime. That extra power goes directly to charging our lithium ion batteries. Now, those batteries are essential because they provide the power we need during the 16 night times we have per day here on the space station. The energy our solar arrays can produce is enough to power 40 homes. And we can maximize the power we generate by rotating the arrays in two axes. One like a windmill to track the sun through the course of the day. The other to track the sun's inclination or its angle in the sky. The space station's electrical power system uses direct current to provide energy for our laptops, lights, water recovery system, and science experiments. Thanks for coming aboard today. Now back to Earth. As you can see, the spaceship is full of devices and tools using and depending on electricity. When I analyzed the words of the astronaut, I found that their only source of electricity is the sun. And they depend on the solar panels on the spaceship because it takes solar energy and converts it into electrical energy. It stores it in batteries so that electricity is always available to all the devices on the spaceship. الألواح الشمسية اللي على سفينة الفضاء بتاخد طاقة الشمس وتحولها لطاقة كهربية وبتخزنها في بطاريات عشان توفر الكهرباء للأجهزة في السبيس شيب. Now we go back to the text in our science textbook. We want to analyze all the information in the text to learn why countries depend on solar energy instead of fossil fuels as a source of generating electricity. And what are the latest applications using the electricity produced from solar energy? هنتعرف دلوقتي على أحدث التطبيقات اللي بنستخدم فيها solar energy عشان نولد منها الكهرباء. From our analysis of the text, we surely learned why it's dangerous to depend on fossil fuels for two reasons. First, it will run out over time because of the overuse. ما تنسوش إن إحنا قلنا إن الوقود الحفري غير متجدد فهيخلص في وقت من الأوقات. The second reason is pollution, which which is resulted when we burn fossil fuels to generate electricity. بسبب التلوث لما بنحرق الفوسيل فيولز لتوليد الكهرباء ده خلى العلماء يفكروا في حلول بديلة especially after the great use of solar energy and to get electricity for people easily this happened in many applications such as backpacks equipped with solar cells شنط الظهر اللي بتكون مزودة بخلايا شمسية they can convert solar energy into electricity this electricity can be used to charge devices such as mobile phones, laptops, while walking or running. Of course, you also observe that in some places there is a full building that runs on solar energy. 
after we learned about the life applications of solar energy, we always end any concept with evaluation. This will be the last activity in our lesson. The last activity in our lesson is optional digital activity 13. Evaluate life assignments. It's entitled Review Renewable Energy Resources. This is a digital activity in our science tech book. So let's open it. We will review and summarize everything we learned about renewable energy sources. عن مصادر الطاقة المتجددة and their types and how to use it to generate electricity. I'm sure we all summarized what we learned about renewable energy sources. Of course, our summaries will be different, but for sure, most of them will have some key vocabulary and sentences that we all wrote. I will share with you some of the sentences you should write in your review. Make a check mark on the sentence you have written or if a sentence expressed the same. Renewable energy such as wind energy, water energy and solar energy. Wind turbines depend on kinetic energy and are converted into electrical energy through generators. Solar energy is converted into electrical energy through solar panels. Batteries store electrical energy until needed. They are the most important points that I think we all recorded in our review and evaluation of all that we learned in this concept. This is the end of our lesson and also the end of concept three, where we learned renewable energy sources and how water can be used to generate energy. Do you have any question about dams? Keep in mind, this is a very important part to focus on in the unit project. For example, I think of a very important question. What is the best location where we can build the dam without affecting the environment? تفتكروا ايه أفضل موقع ممكن نبني فيه سد من غير ما نأثر على البيئة؟ you can also discuss with each other and with your family members and write down your questions. Get ready and review all we have learned in the three concepts of this unit. Our next lesson will be the unit project, which is about dam impacts. تأثير بناء السدود. We will use all the information we learned to solve a real problem. Thanks to all the scientists who joined us today. See you next time.